Dude, I'm Sonic. Holy shit. What the hell? Fly Ant's first playthrough of Xenogears continues after the mysterious red gear through the entire Yggdrasil at me. Uh, I hope I'm not dead. We seem to be back at the church? The cathedral? Oh, it's not the cathedral. It's like a military base? What is this? Where am I? Kaiser, we have some news. Yes. We investigated the cause of the recent explosion at the southern of a border. Our data showed a large amount of radiation was released at the epicenter. <gasps> it was probably caused by an overload of a battleship class slave generator. The cause of this is still unknown. The shockwaves from that explosion took out two thirds of the Avean Gublu forces combined. Now Ave is in the process of regrouping their reserve units but that should take at least several days. Concerning your order, the scouts have arrived at the area you requested. How did A? Yes, sir. I see. We know the gear found was stolen from the 11th base by the Gublu unit in Ave. And in the investigation of the machine, we also caught the unconscious pilot. The seized gear has been transported to the capital. From the circumstances, we believe information was leaked to Ave. How can you say that? All the gears except this were destroyed at Lahan. Judging from the ID signal, this one wasn't with a Vey, but was part of a pirate group. Pirate? You mean the young prince? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. We're now analyzing the combat data. However, we've discovered some black boxes which are likely to delay the analysis. Black boxes? That gear wasn't made by us. The stock body was brought in by... them. So that's it. Dude, this guy's still playing while doing this conversation. That's pretty sick. Uh... <laughs> Kaiser? I mean, that, that's a pretty good lick. That, like, you're popping off right now, but... It, it, it. What? Shouldn't we begin an assault on Ave now? Are you trying to destroy Kislev? Uh-huh. Indeed, it would be easy to take down Ave. But it would exhaust our resources also. But we can't afford to miss this chance. Even if we beat Shakad, Solaris would only replace him with another puppet. What if we exhausted our resources and found ourselves under attack? Anyway, we must still be concerned with Nissan. There's nothing to gain by doing anything now. Oh, new, new character just log, uh, logged in. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. It seems they have arrived. What the hell is this fucking floating vase? What the hell? What are you gonna put a fucking- What are you gonna put up a goddamn plant inside that shit? Whoa. Okay, we got some gears moving some sort of, uh, rectangular object. Is that the black box? I don't know. I don't know what this is. Cargo? Hatsune Miku anime figures? It could be anything. That's a blue box? Oh, my bad. Yes, if you use that, you can pass through the barrier. You'll be free to go where and when you please. That man. That was it. Graf, is he around? He's rather busy now. I was assigned to be his representative. I will ask you this once. Why do you help us? Who are you people? I've told you before. I simply wish to observe what is in store for the world. There are so many things you people must know. I am merely your guide. I cannot directly assist you. How you use it? is entirely up to you. Oh, you're telling me you do not require any recompense? Let me see. Well then, how about this? Oh? Well, I must go. Okay, that was mysterious. But what a strange thing to ask for. What did she say? They want me to transfer that gear we captured and its pilot to D-Block. D-Block? I wonder why. I don't know either. But we still owe them a favor. We just can't deny them. So see to it. Yes, sir. Whoa! It's that necklace! And now I'm running. What is this? What is this? This is such a trippy scene. What is... Ha! 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 Oh. Oh! What is going on here? Oh, is it Lahan? This is giving me big Lahan vibes. 
Oh, right, that musical box that opened here. I forgot about that. Way back in the early parts of the game. Oh my god, is that Dan? No, that's me. Wait, is that me? Yeah, it's me. Oh, it's baby Fei Fong Wong. It's Fei Fong Jr. This is so cute. We're playing ball with my mother. Or no, is that Alice? I have no idea what that is. Whoa, what is this sepia? What is this filter? Film grain moment. Oh. The, dude, what is happening? Okay, this is kind of epic. Uh, flash photography warning, I think. She keeps juking him. Wait, what? What is this? Is this being played on a projector? That would explain the filter. Oh, it is. It, but is this in my mind? What is happening? What is going on? Oh! It's me! What the hell? I have... I... Where am I? Dude, that is a great question. <gasps> you shouldn't be here. Oh. Oh, where am I? Where am I? Good, you finally woken up. You have been unconscious for four days, so I had begun to fear the worst. Who are you, and where am I? How did I get here? Ah. Ugh. You've only just gained consciousness, so don't push yourself too much. I am a doctor. You are in Nortu, the imperial capital of Kislev. Oh, I'm in Kislev right now? Wow, I'm, I'm literally Mr. Worldwide uh, these past couple days. This is the detention area for criminals, commonly known as D-Block. Oh, so I was in that fucking cube. That masked woman brought me and my gear into Kislev into the D-block. Detention area for criminals? You are now in a living quarters for prisoners in D-block. Judging by the way you were brought here under the heavy guard of the Kislev army, you are no ordinary criminal. Huh? Oh look, what good timing. Prince Charming has woke up. This may be sudden, but you have to come along with us. Not the baptismal ceremony. This patient is only just awoke. Dude, I'm gonna get baptized today? Yay. Amen. It is unthinkable that you would try and suddenly carry out your baptismal ceremony on him. Come off it, just a sec. That guy's been thrown here as a crim, ain't he? You should be thanking us for having the kind of compassion on and ought to let him rest up a, a, a few days. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that's hard to read. Yeah, that's right. As long as he's come here as a crim, he's got, he's got to follow the rules. That's the way it is, so without further ado, we'll bar him for a little while. Don't worry, we'll return him to you straight away, once we're through with him, that is. You don't have a choice in this. If you oppose us, the fair doctor will cop it too. Okay, I'll do what you want. Oh, what a sensible lad. That saves us a bit of trouble. Anyway, come along now. The champ is waiting, and don't worry, we'll let you return here soon. Champ, we brought him to you. A man called Champ. What the fuck is this? Is this a dude? Isn't this Blanca? What the hell's Blanca doing in here? Thanks, Tuzar. Hmm. So you're the new inmate. We don't know or care what you did to get put in here, but welcome to D-Block. So, what name do you go by? I am Fei Fong Wong. And what's your name? I know it's not really Champ. I at least have the right to know that much. Why, you, how insolent! Calm down, Suzanne. I don't mind. The name's Rico. Kid, it's good to have guts. If it's the real thing. We know it's a bit sudden, but we need to see how strong you really are. Heinrich? Vargas? Leonardo? Suzanne? Let's begin his baptism. Take him outside. Aw, oh, man. Whoa. Ooh, Kislev looks cool. It's very, uh, industrial. It's giving me some, uh, industrial vibes. It's giving me save cube vibes. This is a weird place to get baptized. Kid, you're up front. 
Now, I think you've got the idea. But I'll tell you anyway. All the criminals sent here are each given a rank. Deciding what rank you are is easy. You get your rank by fighting these four battlers. Relax, the fights are one-on-one. -on -one. By now, you should have realized. Results are everything. If you can defeat these four battlers, you'll be promised a certain amount of freedom. Then, let the fights begin. That's what I'd like to say, but even we have some compassion. We'll give you some time. Even though it's one-on-one, -on -one, you still have to fight all four. You should get prepared for the battle. And one more thing. Don't even think about trying to get away from here. After all, that's an impossibility. Yay, I get to save and move around. Dude, I should escape from here. Hey, are you ready? Let's rock! <laughs> then let it begin. Your first opponent will be Leonardo DiCaprio. Ew, that's what he looks like? Okay, no offense, dude, but what the hell? This, okay, this is not what I expected those folks to look like. I'll tell you what. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh. Ah, nothing like the old fucking 752, huh? All right, we continue. Hopefully they let me heal between these. Who's the next one? Do I get to heal? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, well, this is kind of awkward. I thought I could... Maybe it'll... Maybe my... Oh, I'm at seven health. I think I'm just going to go for some normal combos. Heinrich? With the Heinrich slam? What the fuck? Oh, okay, cool. Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, so it seems like they actually don't have that much health, which is pretty good. Hmm, entertaining. How's the next one? Oh, it looks so satisfying. Woohoo! Turn him into goddamn blue gushers. All right, one more fight to go, unless it ends with... Unless this is like the Elite Four and I have to fight fucking the champ at the end. If this is the Elite Four, I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Ha! I'll get you for this someday! Not bad. No one's defeated Vargas since Suzard. Now for the last one. You think you can win? What the hell? This- Okay. Oh, okay. Now this dude has a fucking scythe and has a whole goddamn different sprite? Okay, I'm terrified. I am legitimately fucking- This guy's gonna hit me once and do like 200 damage. Oh. Oh, he took my EP! Alright, so I have to build up, uh, as much AP as I can. Okay. 79, I can live with. All right, Suzarn, it's time to end this. Hopefully. All right, that was 600 damage almost. She's still alive, dude! Oh, fuck, man. Um, This is a little... What do I do here? Do I just fucking go all out? I'm gonna go all out. Fuck it. Why not? This is gonna end the fight, right, guys? Live slug reaction to me winning. Oh! <laughs> ah, fly in does it again. It's not easy being this good, you know? Uh, ridiculousness. Starring Rob Deerdeck. Even I lost to you. You've defeated all four. <laughs> this is an unexpected outcome. Let me give you this special treatment. I, myself, will be your final opponent. I knew it. It's going to be the fucking Elite Four. No! Enough. There's no purpose in doing this. Dude, don't do this to me. I have nothing to do with you. No need for a reason. This is the D-block tradition. We must determine the pecking order. Uh, what? Get ready. Oh, I, have to, I already gloated, dude. You can't... I already gloated. Hey, maybe this is a scripted death. God, so, this is awkward. This is awkward, dude. Is that all you can do? What? Don't you want to fight? Gah, gah. What's wrong? If you don't resist, I'll end up breaking your neck. No. Hmm? What's that? I can't hear you. Aye, aye, Captain. No, I won't fight. <laughs> well, then this is the end. No, no. Gah. Uh, out of the way. What?
Ay. Ay. Go. Ah, that's more like it. You're quite good. You're the first one to ever injure me. Now I don't have to hold back. I'm looking forward to this. Okay, let me try one death blow and see. Three damage. I'm getting tired of these fights, dude. I'm getting steel body. What is? Oh, dude, he's hardening like a fucking Geo, dude. dude this guy's drip though. Steel fist. What is it? Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> what is this? Attack up? Oh. oh god. I'm so scared. Did I win? A bit tough. Well, a win is a win. Your rank is A. Okay. Well, I was close to beating him, though, right? Okay? All right? Four out of five ain't bad. They call me all four out of five flying, okay? Ellipsis. Didn't you hear? Take him back to his quarters. And don't forget that one thing. What one thing? Are they going to probe me? Ugh. Where am I this time? Happy birthday, brother. You're in the same place, just in a different room. You've had a rough day, huh? Ah, oh, it's you. It looks like I needed your assistance again, huh? Yes, but don't worry. I don't mind. It's my job. Anyway, how do you feel? Hmm? Ah, I am a, in a bit of pain, but nothing I can't cope with. Lately, I've been getting used to this kind of thing. Ah. The last thing I remember was those guys speaking of what rank they think I am worthy of. Oh, I think I better tell you about that. What? You know what rank I am? You're quite strong, aren't you? To defeat four people in your condition. It's no wonder they gave you rank A. But to go up against the champ? It's amazing that you came back alive at all. The fight was meaningless. I had no reason to. I didn't want to fight. What happened? You look a bit pale. It's nothing. Don't worry. By the way, what's this thing around my neck? Yeah, I noticed that. Is that like a fucking little, like, uh little cushion for my my sore neck because he was like strangling me oh that it's a bomb what the moment you leave the vicinity of the imperial capital that collar goes boom too bad but while you have that on you will never be able to escape from norchun apart from the civilians of d block and a select few battlers everybody has to wear them here in d block that is the only chain that binds the prisoners huh a bomb so no matter how much i struggle i'll never escape from here Anyway, you should try and get some rest today. Happy, cute resting music after having a bomb implanted on my neck that will explode and kill me and my, uh, my family. Hey, but hey, we get to play as Fei Fong Wong. Honestly, this is not where I thought the story was going to go after what happened last stream. I thought we would kind of dwell on what happened in the, the, the desert of Avey a bit more, but I guess this is like a nice, you know, change of pace. The shower room's out of order permanently. Actually, it's broken. Someone to fix it? I wish. So you're telling me no one showers here? What is this, a smash convention? <laughs> I found that original joke on Reddit. In battling, men and women are called different names. What? Generally, males are called battlers, while females are called Amazonesses. <laughs> She's Amazonian. Dude, he just trapped me in this room. Oh, is that a ladder? Hey, let me out. Dude, let me out, man. What the heck? Dude, get out of the way. Come on, man. I got shit to do. I'm trying to let's play. Thank you. Blow into the controller to escape. <laughs> Has Monsieur decided what he wants from the menu yet? Yep, I decided. Which would Monsieur like? Dishes a la rank. The daily special. Yeah, I want dishes a la rank. One moment, please. We have the order. One battling steak, please. That's right. Monsieur's victory is certain. Our glorious battling steak has the taste assured by the use of the finest ingredients. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Scrumptious, flavorsome, nicely chewy, quite good. That was awesome. Can I get something else? We use only the finest ingredients. Even then, if you always eat the same food, then you'll grow sick of it. So I think you've had enough already. If you eat too much, you'll become a fatso. Okay. Whoopsie-daisy. 
This is cute. I like this, uh, this Kislev area. It's such a... A different vibe than all the evade stuff we've been dealing with, you know? Guy who's only played Final Fantasy VII. This is like Midgar to me. I can't speak to her. Hello? Oh, now I can. I have to jump on the bed. <laughs> they only let me out when we go to church on the weekends. I'm bored cooped up in this house. I wish I could go and play with the church folk. Spin seven times? What the hell's wrong with her? Hello? Okay, the children of this universe ain't right, dude. Does she, does she say something different? And now my eyes are spinning. Everyone's turning. Nope. Oh. What the hell? Where am I? Even in this smoggy town, if you take special care and water the plants, flowers were bloomed. This is, okay, this is actually Midgar. <laughs> Dude, this should have been Final Fantasy VII. But then a horrific accident happened at Squaresoft Studios. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, this looks cool. This looks like a bar or like a club or like a casino or something. You can tell by the cool neon lights. Oh, it's a bar. Oh my god, it's 7th Heaven! Hey, barkeep, give me one drink. Hey, maybe Big Joe's here. Latina is looking good as always. She's our Blocks Venus. Don't you think so, too? Latina is an interesting name. Guys, please don't clip my audio out of context. And on top of that, she's a certified Amazonist. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being beaten up, only if it was by Latina. <laughs> please, <laughs> don't use this. Don't use this against me. Latina, Latina, give me another drink. <laughs> For this game, I swear, this game is trying to, they're trying to take me down, bro. What the hell, Beastoid man? Is that a capybara? Ah! Oh, allow me to introduce myself. They call me Hammer, the supplier. It's been a long time since such a powerful criminal has been sent to D Block. <laughs> so that makes you pretty famous in this town. In other words, you're the center of attention, bro. Could you stop calling me, bro? My name is Faye. <laughs> Don't call him son. Don't call him bro. Call him Faye. Hammer the supplier. What's wrong with it? It's not like I'm putting you down. What would you prefer me to call you, sir, or something? Oh, do whatever you wish. That is decided. I'll continue to call you bro from now on. By the way, bro, I hear you're really strong. Not many get rank A, you know. I'm pretty impressed. And what's more, bro? You seem different from the other prisoners. Different, huh? Well, you don't look so normal yourself. It's not meant to be an insult. Just a feeling I have. No deep meaning. Oh, and if you have any problems, talk to me. Since I'm a supplier, I've got all the connections. Not here either. Must have left already? Oh. Huh? Oh. I finally get to meet you. And your Faye, right? And uh, out of the way. Huh? Uh, uh, forgive us, Miss Cohen. Hmm. You men are hopeless. This is why I didn't want to come with you two. Hmm. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Rue Cohen from the Imperial Battling Committee in B Block of this, the Imperial Capital. Imperial Battling Committee? What do you want with me? I'll cut you to the point. We want you to participate in the battling tournament. Another tournament? Battling? It's a recreational sport where gear fights against gear, or even gear fights against monster, depending on the program. Currently, there are no regulations for eligibility, and we, the community, rarely interact with the participants directly. You should be honored. You are in luck that your little incident with the champ caught our attention so soon. So how about it? Better a battler than a prisoner. It's not a bad deal at all. I'm sorry, but I don't like gears. <laughs> I have no interest in such recreational tournaments. And above all, I don't even have a gear, so even if I wanted to participate, I can't. You ask too much! Indeed, we ask too much. <laughs> oh, shush, you two keep quiet. Uh, sorry, Miss Cohen. Hmm, forgive me, but do not worry about the latter problem. The gear you require for the battling will be provided by the committee. Oh, I'm gonna be using a fucking, like, bootleg-ass gear for this shit? So, will you participate then? Don't make me repeat myself. I hate gears, and I'm not interested in that kind of stuff. If you won't change your mind, then you'll... Well, you're still new here. I'll give you more time. Perhaps we may have been too pushy. But please think about this offer seriously. I'll be looking forward to a favorable reply. Well then, hope to talk to you again soon. Whoa! It's Hammer. Ha! Huh. Hammer? Why did you do that, bro? Wait, Hammer, what are you talking about? I overheard it all with my own ears. Why did you reject their invitation? 
It's truly a rare occasion for the committee to personally make contact. It's still not too late. Do it, bro. We can still make it, right? You'll be a battler, a battler. Oh, that. If you overheard, you should already know. I don't like fighting and gears, well? Moreover, there is no reason for me to do it. If you become a battler, you can leave the prison and live in luxury. Power is everything here. The powerless, the weak are just oppressed. So come on, give it a try. Ellipsis, you've said enough. Now, could you move out of the way? Hammer, sorry, but I doubt my feelings will change. Fighting and gears, I hate them both. So too bad. Oh, bro. I'm not your bro anymore, pal. He's back. Oh my god, he's stalking me. What the hell? Bro, the new doctor who was appointed today has just arrived. Hammer, you were supposed to have been in the bar. Oh, bro, you shouldn't worry about such little details. How is he teleporting? Is he, like, moving through the sewers? If you just rely on me, the forefront of information, then you will know it all. So about this doctor. About what doctor? What? You didn't know, bro? The previous lady doctor got transferred to look after the civilian sector of town. Makes you envious, huh? So we get a new doctor to look after D-Block. They say he just got here. The new doctor, eh? So what on earth has this new doctor got to do with you, the great supplier? What are you talking about, bro? Of course I have everything to do with him. If I become chums with him, I can expand my connections by establishing black market medical treatment routes. So that's it, huh? Oh, Hammer, what will we ever do with you? Whatever, bro, whatever. Anyway, let's go say hello to him, shall we? Well, yeah, I suppose we should at least say hello. You say a new doctor has come, but there's nobody here. He's gonna be like, surprise, I'm the new doctor. Huh? That's strange. According to my sources, he should be here. Too bad he's not here, huh, Hammer? Looks like you'll have to forget about those black market medical treatment routes you were... <gasps> the sound of an opening door. It seems the new doc was in the next room. Satan? Doc? Satan? What are you doing here? Oh my god, I should have known. New doc? Okay, that's actually... Alright, they debated. I actually had no idea. I monitored Kislev's radio communication. I heard them talking about a gear they recovered in Kislev that fit the description of Bobo. They said they transported it to their capital. So I came here on the off chance I might also find you here. How does he just infiltrate everything, dude? He's crazy. Ah, huh, you wouldn't be uh, by any chance know this doctor, would you, bro? So anyway, Faye, have you taken any action yet? Taken any action? What do you mean by that, Doc? You cannot stay in here forever, can you? Are you not going to escape? Escape? Faye, you are not intending to spend the rest of your life here, are you? You do not mind breaking your promise, then? What promise? Oh my, how could you forget such an important thing as that? You promised Bart that you would protect Margie and the people of Nissan if anything happened to him. <gasps> what happened to Bart? Oh, that? I, I did promise that, didn't I? But has something happened to Bart? I'm afraid to say so. He fought bravely against the enemy's forces. But it was in vain. The Yggdrasil was badly damaged and sank to the bottom of the Sea of Sand. Wait. But he said no one would die in vain. He just said it was in vain. Just before the ship sank, I jumped in an escape pod and jettisoned out of there so that I was not engulfed. Since then, I could regret to say I could find out nothing of the others' whereabouts or fates. Okay, it's still ambiguous. I'm gonna assume that they're all alive, okay? If they do end up being dead, so be I think the only one who died is probably Sigurd, because that's the one name Satan like yelled out before he escaped. Who would have thought? What was I doing? What in the heavens happened, Faye? Once again, I lost all memory and all sense of time. While I was fighting that Vandercom guy, he, Graf, appeared. Then I realized Bart and the crew's plight. The other guys with me were defeated by Vandercom and his giant-sized gear. After that, after that, it was like Lahan Village over again. When I woke up, I was in Ortuld's prison block. Doc, what happened to the squadron at the Borderlands? What is the meaning of my being here? And Bobo having been recovered in Kislev? That squadron was annihilated. There was also wreckage of a giant-sized gear, the likes of which I have never seen before. Ellipsis, 
Come on now, Faye. Nobody's pointing their finger at you. It might have been caused by something else. It's all right, Doc. Little by little, I've been coming to understand it. Just maybe. No, most surely. I've done it again. Oh, Faye. I'll keep my promise. Otherwise, I'd never be able to look Bart in the one eye ever again. Because Bart and there are alive. Somewhere. I just know that they are. So that means... I'm going to do whatever it takes to get out of here. Will you help me out, Doc? Of course, it will be my pleasure. No, bro, I doubt it. Any thought of leaving here is just a dream. Why do you say that? Because of these things. They're explosive collars. As long as we are wearing these, we'll never be able to set foot out of here. Explosive collars. That is dangerous of them, is it not? Allow me to have a little look at it, please. Explodes him. Kills him. Let me see. Hmm. Well, well, aha! Oh, humph. We might just possibly be able to do something about these. Really? Even mechanical engineers gave up on these in despair. Doc was always good at tinkering with machines and also tinkering with his junk. So I guess there's hope. I don't know, bro. Let's leave them alone. No matter how good he is. One tiny mistake and it's boom, bang, game over, man. Get hammers drift, bro. It's all right. I believe in Doc. Well then, shall we give it a try? Are you absolutely sure you want to go through with this, Faye? Do you not want to think it through first? Just to be sure, I mean, though you can trust me, I hope. Yeah, he's really making a great case here. That's true, he should test it on Hammer first. No, we can't let him die, man. Hammer's too lovable. Hammer Hammer gives me like Jar Jar Binks vibes. Is that, does that, anyone else feel that way? Do it now, Doc. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm ready to do it now. We may as well get it over with then, huh? Well then, you are sure you want to go through with it, so? Oh, bro! Well then, let us give it a go. Rattle, rattle. Hmm, this is hotter than I thought. Clatter, clatter, clank. Cl clank. Oh, clank means it's done. Ah! Oh dear! That part is... Dude, he op did we just explode and die? What happened? <laughs> Bad ending? Did we actually just die? This is time just kill- Hey, what is wrong? Err, uh, uh, Doc, uh, wh what just happened? Wait, wh what was that? You scared the heck out of me, you, you goddamn idiot suddenly shouting like that. Is everything okay? Anyway, are you absolutely sure now? I will start removing the explosive collar then. Let's not do this. I have a bad feeling about it. Sorry, Doc. I can understand that. There's no reason to try something so dangerous yet. We have not explored all other possibilities. There may be another way. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There is a way of having these collars removed. It requires you winning a special pardon. In the Imperial Games, though, a special pardon? Yes, every year they hold the Imperial Games of Battling. The Kaiser himself watches over the battling matches and cancels any sentence the winner is serving. Also, the winner is given a position as a military officer as an added bonus. Well then, all we have to do is win at the games then, do we not, Faye? I am telling you it is hopeless. To do that, you will have to defeat the current champion, Master Rico. But our bro here was totally beaten by that very person just days ago. He did hit me for like 1500 damage. And this time we're talking about battling. With gears, bro, with gears. There's no assurance of your safety. He could very well kill you by pretending to cause an accident. Ellipsis. Really? Yeah, but last time I didn't have the desire to fight them. Yet if I were to come up against them seriously, I am not sure whether I could win or not. Is he really that much stronger than the other four battlers, this champ chap? Put it this way, he is the undefeated king reigning at the summit of the Imperial Capitals battling tournaments. With a history of 40 bouts ending in 40 KOs, most of which occurred within 30 seconds from start time. If he wins this year's Imperial Games, then he'll be the reigning champion for three years running. Just one second, is this person a prisoner? 
Yes, he is. That is strange. The winner is supposed to receive a pardon, right? Why is he still a prisoner now, then? That's the thing. Master Rico could have said goodbye to prison life by now. But they say he turned in, uh, down his pardon. I guess must really like fighting a great deal. Well, we can't just stand around here talking about it. I don't care whether it is battling or whatever. If there's a chance, then I am going to try and take it. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Do you think you can win? No, I don't. <laughs> but for now, I can only give it a try. <laughs> Very confident, Faye. Well, if that's how it is, then I'll just go off and register you now. That hammer, he looked very pleased all of a sudden. Mm, but are you all right about this, as we spoke about before? Whether you're forced to or not, you did not want to do this, right? Fight with gears, I mean. Ellipsis. There are most probably other ways to get out of here. Faye, I do not want to push you into anything you do not want to do. I know, Doc. I still don't like gears. That much hasn't changed. When I pilot them, I become aware of how unstable my very being is, even if I don't want to think of it. But at the same time, it is also a connection with some lost part of me. If that's the case then, recently, I decided I would stick with it to the end. Ellie also had been troubled by the same thing, and if I just stay depressed about it, nothing will improve. Is that how you feel? I think I understand you better now, Faye. Anyway, let us get some rest today. We're going to become busy. What the hell is this? Space? What is this guy? Fucking Darth Vader? What the hell? Faster than expected. The awakening of Untouchable One. It has been three years since we heard any news. According to the Memory Cube, he is currently in Norchun, the Imperial capital of Kislev. Dude, why are they flying a giant CRT TV? Detestable, vexing, cursed. If only he did not exist, the labs would not have been turned into the Animus. It has been 500 years since our fall in the days of destruction that he caused. We would not have had to do this in such a troublesome manner as we do now. The excavation of the Anima relics in each area is proceeding as planned. It's too late to change things now. But in the future, we'll shape what will be. Fade, vanish, disappear. Although we do not know which route it flowed from, we're fortunate that Gatekeeper was activated. From the ethos, or...? It doesn't matter, although... Are you saying what we mustn't break Ignis equilibrium? Well, it is the surface, and the land is unclean. That is merely an excuse, a justifiable reason. Even Kane would not object. But we can't use the Geisha key. Not until the proper time comes. There's a third fleet in Bladevik. Their reserve units will do. Oh, this fleet, your orders. To purge. Give no motives. If he knew our motives, it's obvious we'd do something unpredictable. But wouldn't we need more men to raise the entire area of Norchun? There is an ancient reactor in Norchun. We'll use that. The half-life fallout will be a thousand years. Nothing will be able to live within 300 counts of the explosion. However, they've lived through that before. They won't perish that easily. But we must at least eliminate him. Yes, there's nothing we need from there, so be it. Take care of it. If it is a direct hit. Well then. Your orders are given. What the fuck are those guys, man? Are these the real guys behind the scenes? The true masterminds of the plot of Xenogears is three bald-headed aliens and a fucking floating goddamn television? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I just finished signing you up! Gee, that was quick. Is it really that easy? Normally it isn't so easy. But a woman called Rue from the Battling Committee seems to have done some pushing and pulling on your behalf. The Battling Committee? Oh, you mean those three? Well, anyway, thanks to them, the enrolling process went like a breeze. Hey, hey, this means you can start battling whenever you want to, bro! Is there something strange going on behind the scenes that I don't know about? Ah, no, 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 nothing, nothing, no, 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 nothing at all. The mechanic of champions, me, has had his sins wiped clean, so there is nothing to be suspect of. Hmm, really? Well, what do you mean? I told you there is nothing at all. Um, I've got a lot to do, so I'll go ahead of you. <laughs> oh. oh, 
Hey, wait, wait. What are you up to? Not saying where you're going to? Oh, I forgot to tell you. The battling arena is on the outskirts of D-Block. Talk to the guard and he should let you pass. Bye. Hey, hold on a second. What is it, Doc? Last night you said we should act separately. Yes, I know I did, but there's something that I'm curious about. I shall join you in going to the battling arena. Is it not too late to split up after that? Ellipsis? W well, whatever. Anyway, let's get going. All right, let's get to the battle arena then. Long gas ellipsis. It's coming there. Oh, that's cute. What is this, a little train? Train ride? Oh, that's cool. Twain! Wow, that's amazing. What the hell? This place is huge. What is that thing in the middle? Is that like the fucking palace or is that just a giant ship? What the hell? Imperial Capital C Block. Recreation and Battling Arena. Okay, so I can only go here right now. Oh, I thought that I, I thought I was fighting somebody. They just used the battle theme as the theme of this area. That literally gave me like I, I was I was gonna get my dukes up, man. I, I wasn't ready for this. So this is the battling arena. Or the reception area to be exact. Hmm? Welcome to the battling arena, Faye, sir. Several days ago you were adamant about not piloting gears. Has something happened in the last few days to make you change your mind in such a large way? Living the rest of my life with sewer monsters is not that bad. It's just, well, there are many factors. Then there's this collar. It gets in the way so much. Your collar? <laughs> You're amusing. Are you intending to aim for victory despite it being your first try at battling? Is that strange? No, 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 not the least. Please excuse me. You seem to have quite some confidence in fighting with gears. I'm looking forward to. Oops, excuse me. Well, I guess I'll show you the way to the paddocks. We don't have much time. The paddocks? What, you're thinking that you're going to fight with flesh and blood? <laughs> Not that I wouldn't mind seeing it, but... We told you before that the committee would prepare a machine for you. What did you forget? Oh, uh, the gear I'm going to pilot will be, uh... Well, come on now, walk this way. Dude, I hope I don't get like a shitty ass gear. Hold on, we are not ready yet. Can you spare us a little time? Understood, but we don't have much time to spare, so please hurry up now. Beyond there is the gear paddock. Not much time till the first bout. You had better hurry. Maybe I get to choose my gear. That'd be nice. I'll pick the strongest one. Oh, wait, is it Ma- Wait, is it Veltal? I can just use Veltal for this? Yeah, epic fucking gear, dude. <laughs> Very cool, temporary registrated gear. Hey, is this? This must be the gear that was furnished by the committee. My, this is a surprise. Duck? Hmm, I do not think this is coincidental. I am simply assuming. But they probably intentionally furnished you with Bobo to collect some data. Intentionally? Battling itself serves as one of Kislev's plans. From battling, they can obtain the various combat data. And talented battlers, which can be used for the military. Exactly, what kind of data could they get out of him and I? I would not know. But I can assure you that this has something to do with that incident. With Avey. Well, regardless of what the Empire's up to, this is good for us. You're able to get the gear you're most used to. If you think about it, this just enhanced our probability of escaping. Ellipsis. Let's see what battling is like. It's it like when we were... Oh, shit! Welcome to the tutorial mode. Here you can learn more about the battling controls. Battling is a game where you fight one-on-one -on -one with gears in a wide open circular... F oh, it's kind of like custom robo. Field of arena. A match ends when either you or your opponent is... Interesting. Oh, I'm gonna be sick at this. Practice. Start. Ooh. Oh my god, the movement feels very, um, very responsive. Dude, I'm Sonic. Holy shit. What the hell? Alright, how about uh, Ether Attacks? What is it, R1? Oh, get fucked. Get fucked, dude. Get fucked, training bot. Can I do it from the sky? Oh, I can. <laughs> I can change the frame rate? What the fuck? Why is, why is there so many options for this? I can change the AI? Alright. Controller 2? 
Wait, you can play two players with someone in this mode? That's actually so sick. All right, who's coming over? Who's coming over, dude? Kangaroo? All right, let's uh, let's fight some real-ass people then. Let's do this. Let's do it. About time, baby. I'm gonna be the goat. I'm gonna be the goat of fucking battling mode in Xeno Gears. I I, my, I I rolled my sleeves up. I'm ready. Why isn't this played at Evo? Good question. <laughs> I overheated. Hmm, not bad. Have it your way then. <gasps> Burger King? Playtime is now over. Let's get serious. Uh, question marks? What's going on? What's happening? Is it gonna like... What the? My gear? What's happening? I thought I was the goat. What? I I lose my first thing. I am in pain. <laughs> Jerk. He's probably in bed somewhere now. Wasn't that a bit too much? If Champ finds out, we're done for. Oh, they fucking rigged my shit to explode. <laughs> I don't get it. Let's just get this over with. Tonight's creepy. The rats are restless. What? This isn't like you. All right then, you take that one. Are they trying to assassinate me? What's going on? Oh man, this is bad. The hairs on the back of my neck are all standing up. Something weirds out there, dude. That's so anticlimactic. I was, I, I, I was so fucking ready to to kick some ass in battling mode, and they're like, they're gonna die now. Oomph. Huh? Hmm. Must just be my uh, imagination. <laughs> What's in here, dude? What is chasing this guy? What? The bite of 87! So you came out. What the? Crap, this monster's... S stay away! Ah! That sounded like a runescape death sound effect. Ellipsis, where am I? Oh, the infirmary. Well, hello, Faye. Are you wide awake yet? Doc, what happened to me? How did I get here? During the battling match, there was a sudden explosion, remember? That's right. In that explosion, I lost consciousness? It was a large explosion, but you were fortunate. Uh, the gear was Bobo! Any other gear, and I would hate to think. Anyway, you are safe. That is what matters. Thanks, dude. Bobo, huh? Hey, give it up for Bobo. Thank you, Bobo. You, you're always there when I need you. Doc, how many days have passed since then? Only a day has elapsed since the accident. Your injuries were relatively minor, so... Only one day? What is the matter, Faye? I had an awful dream. I can't remember it, but... I just know it was awful. A dream? It was nothing, I guess. Don't worry about it, Doc. Ellipsis. Doc, I've got to get back to battling. I want to get this explosive collar off of me as soon as I can. Faye, how is your health holding up? I do not want you to push yourself. There's no use in saying that. Time is not going to wait. I can't just do nothing. I suppose you're right. I understand what you mean, Faye. Uh, we have to go try and get out of here as soon as we possibly can. But that does not mean you have to overexert yourself again straight away. Take time to rest up a little more. You're the doc, doc. I'll try and get a little more rest. Me, 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 me. <laughs> me, 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 me. Oh, okay. I rested. Yeah, like I said before, the they just make such cool environments. Like, the way that they, um, they layer it, too, like this part, for example, where they have, like, the nets and, like, the poles and all this shit going on in the top level. While you're running on the bottom. But it's still, like, clear and visible enough for you to know what's happening. Some, some masterful stuff. If you win two matches today, the second day of the games, you can progress onto the third set of bouts. Do you want to enter the bouts for day two? Yeah, let's go! Dun, 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 dun. Let's go! Bobo! The gear Bobo has been sent to the storage paddock. Stand by for boarding. Bobo moment. Faye already making out of pools. Yeah, he didn't go 0-2. Oh, shit. Alright, let's run. Let's just check. Okay. Alright, we made him... We, we fucking... We chump checked him. We made him whiff. We made him whiff for the fans. The jump is a fake out. I'm shitting on him. Oh, a replay? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh! Bobo! Titan? Oh, shit. Alright. 
The trick is to go behind them. Dude, I'm nasty. I am nasty in the battling arena, dude. Oh, did you see that? I fucking mixed this whole shit up. <laughs> dude, that was literally flawless. I didn't even get touched. Wow, you're so strong. Boy, was he ever outmatched. True. Oh, I get pins and needles at your overwhelming power, eh? So does my chat. I guess I can rest here. Let's do it. The rank A bed it is. Oh shit, I get the rank A bed? One of my favorite genres of music is sound that plays when you go to sleep in an RPG. They need a whole playlist of that shit, dude. The better your rank, the better the sleep music is when you rest. I'm not even making that up. Is that, is that real? Oh, okay, by the way, I have a question to the other uh, Xeno Gear heads. If I lost earlier in the battle against the four folks, uh, the four people, d does it like, does the game continue and I just get a worse rank? Correct? Oh, interesting. All right, day three of uh, battling. Let's get it. Let's get it fucking going, baby. This is a, this honestly looks exactly like Midgard, dude. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be the guy who played Final Fantasy VII and is like, hey, but let me at him. Let me at him. Sorry, I started barking. Thoughts? W Shaver? What the hell? What are these noises? All right, not bad, because we're, you know, we're speedrunning the game. Musha! Oh, he has a sword? That's so cool. Oh my god, he started with- Oh, wait, he's- Wait, he's good. He's good at the game. Oh! Oh, what the hell? I did not expect this. Oh, okay, wait, I'm actually getting owned. I'm actually getting owned. Or am I? Or am I? Or am I? Or am I, Musha? Never count me out. Like, bait out his moves there. Run behind. Followed up with this. Yeah, when you're like full HP and he's about to die, you can just fucking spam your ether bullets until he's like disintegrated, dude. All right, GG's. Bobo does again, everybody. Day three over. I'm about to go fight Mango in the semifinals. Hmm? New cutscene, I think. What's going on here? Huh? Someone's coming downstairs. I guess it'll be Hammer. Oh? Long time no see, huh, kid? Hey, you're Rico. What are you doing here? Calm down, kid. I didn't come here to fight with you. Then what purpose do you have here? What other reason could you have? What is going on out there? This is a place for rest. Can you be a bit quieter? Why does only you, Faye, and the battling champion? What would the likes of you have to do coming to a prison barracks? There must be some special reason for you to grace us with your presence. Yes, there is. I came in regards to the incident of the explosion during the first rounds of the battling contest. Explosion incident? Oh, you mean what happened the other day? The explosion accident that Faye was enveloped in during that bout? What does that have to do with you? I'm sorry, that accident was set up by my subordinates. After the results of your baptismal ceremony, it seems my men didn't come to like you very much. So they made it look like an accident, but it really was meant to kill Faye. But why tell us now? Did they come clean and confess the crimes they committed? They're no longer with us. You're the doctor. Don't you know what's been happening? What's going on here in the Imperial Capital's D-Block? You mean the series of mysterious murders that happened in the sewers? Yes, a line of skilled battlers have been murdered one after the other. All of the victims that have been killed were my subordinates. Kid, I mean, Faye. They were the very people who had set that trap to kill you. 
So what are you trying to say? That their deaths are connected to me somehow? Let us see. The murdered battlers had set a trap to try and kill Faye. When Faye comes to know of this, he has good reason to kill them. Out of hatred of his would-be killers, he plots revenge on the battlers and turns to murder. People think I am the killer. Exactly. This morning, there was yet another victim. The fifth. It's not unusual for people to die in the sewers. If you become weak, you die. That's providence. But five battlers were killed in a row. That this is unprecedented alone casts doubt on you. To say that, I don't doubt you would be lying, but I don't think you are guilty either. The only thing that can prove your innocence is that there is any truth in the story going around. The story of a monster in the sewers that is strong enough to kill five battlers. For the sake of my men too, I am about to check out the sewers. I've said what I wanted to say. Wait up, let me, let me go with you. I want to prove to you that I am innocent myself. You want to tag along, huh? I don't care. But you've got to look after your own neck. It is up to Faye himself to prove that he has been falsely suspected. There is no alternative then. Please allow me to accompany you in solving this sewer murder case. The doctor too? I don't take any responsibility if anything happens to you. Hey, we got a whole squad going then. Hey, what what the you you're the ch ch champ. Thanks for watching the sewers. I'm going down there now. Don't let anyone besides these guys in. Yeah, yes sir, champ. All right, I'm in the sewer. Oh, I'm in the greens. <gasps> They're smoking weed in here. Okay, so there is a monster here and it's not me. Where is this place? Let's look for it. We'll talk more if we really find it. Do you really doubt me? Shh, quiet. Question mark ellipsis. What's wrong? Oh, I think we sense it. I think we sense it. It's somewhere in the deep. Ooh. What if it's a giant fucking rat, dude? The true uh, villain of the sewers. Ellipses? Well, let us look around. Hmm. Well, this is the murder spot. Oh, that explains the blood. Something is written on the wall. Re. Red. Monster. This must be his dying message. Must have been written. It as he was drying. A red monster. Very interesting. Ellipsis? Hey, what's this slime? What a mess! Ugh. Death drive. <laughs> nice. Let's try Rico Rocket. <laughs> Dude, that animation's so sick. It has so much weight to it. Can I cl can I use this? Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay, we're we're heading in the right direction, it seems, at least. Ellipsis? What's wrong, Satan? Is there something here? A tinkle sound. I heard some kind of a tinkle sound. Somebody's tinkling here. A bell. A bell. A bell. Do you know something? Now that you mention it, there is a rumor of a strange ringing sound down here. What is this fucking propeller? <laughs> is this supposed to be a fucking dungeon hazard? All right, I got this. I did it. Oh, ew! What the fuck are you, man? Dude, I feel like I say that to like every monster in this game, but truly they are horrendous looking sometimes. Oh, is this the guy? Is this the boss we're looking for? Oh my god, he almost sent me into the fucking shit water. Who are you? Gramps. Hey, Gramps, what are you doing here? I thought the entrance was blocked off. Hmm, I've lived here a long time. All by yourself in a spooky place like this? As you can see, I'm a mutant, so the monsters never bother me. But lately, my new neighbor's been going around busting things up. What, really? We're looking for him. Oh, would you get rid of him for me? If you need to know anything, ask me. I'll help you. Yes, please let me know. It's dangerous inside. You better not go in. What the fuck are these demon rats? Bat rat. Bat rat? Bat rat. The save point. Let's fucking go, dude. Have a wonderful fly day, everybody. Let's go. See you later.
happy birthday, Gio.